I'm somebody who passes messages along. I'm a messenger, so don't shoot me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I do, I do political satire, which frankly is getting easier and easier. <laughs> One more Bush administration screw up and I got tenure. <laughs> and I don't hate him, by the way. Do you hate him? Yes. <laughs> He's got bone spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. And they kept him from going overseas. But somehow they don't affect his golf game hmm, or keep him from trumping up hostilities. In a tweet storm at 3 a.m. while he's got a bone spur in his BVDs. My wife and I bring our skills as. Uh, people who can come up with melodies and rhymes and, uh, and you know, meter schemes and so forth. We bring these skills to bear on the, on the idea of, of putting a message a across that, that we sense, that we've, we've uh, developed and that we, we've, we've heard and want to share. Well, the rights are right, but without a fight it can't evaporate and float away. And by night there were those who came around and tried to take the vote away. They said, you can't vote. You haven't paid the poll tax, you can't vote, you can't pass the Like exam. a lot of people, I mean, the, the election vote. dropped our jaws. So there was a, uh, a, there was a mourning period, you know, and we didn't know what to write to begin with, right? Um, but once we got to that fifth stage of grief, that acceptance stage, and say, yes, you know, he is, in fact, going to be serving, at least, as the president uh, for the next four years, we began to tour in earnest and we began to write in earnest. You're breathing down my neck you're getting in my face You're digging and you're probing Trying to make a federal case I said that I like you. Yeah, I was you. counting it up. From the day that uh, Trump uh, was uh, uh, won the, the, the election, um, so to speak, um, until we had to, had to give it up, I did 530 shows across America. But you know I'm a liar You're getting too close Ooh, you're fine The first song was embarrassing. The first one was, uh, was a thing we called Tea Rump. And it was just a lot of butt jokes. That was our entry point. That was sort of entry level. <laughs> and, but soon we began to like uh, uh, hone our craft, I might say. There was a song about the various people in, in his administration, too, which, which have car who carried water for him. Here's the story of a shameless grifter and the con men who were running his campaign. They were sucking on the teat of Mother Russia and also of Ukraine. We're doing it through, through folk music or folk sounding music anyway, folk pop, what, what have you, you know. But, it, but it's being done in so many ways now. You know, there are so many rap artists who are socially conscious and country artists even who are socially conscious and unafraid to work that into their music. Well, every like third month, there's a big headline that says, where are the protest songs? And you know, you, the answer is here. They're here, listen, listen up. You know, they're everywhere, right? I'd forgotten how important music is my, in my life, and it's one more thing gone from normal. Now music is there. <laughs> Socially conscious music, you know. Um, it, can, it, can, uh, it can soothe you, it can make you laugh, and it, it can invite you to cry, certainly. And uh, it, it can charge you up, too. Hmm. C is for collusion, O is for obstruction, V for violations, F for fabrications, E the emoluments clause, F E the federal election laws. And if his spelling seems clumsy, well, he's spelling with tiny thumbs. Music is my answer, you know, and if, if, if people can sing along with Vote Him Away, then, then that they'll be encouraged to go out and do just that. I mean, 
mean, there's a great example of the song, the song parody form, which is uh, a great way to impart that political message because people know and love these songs, right? It, it's an instant familiarity that people have with these songs and that song in particular. In the White House, the mighty White House, the liar tweets tonight. In the West Wing, the self-obsessed wing, the liar tweets tonight. It's happy kind of quality and so forth, you know. So if you're singing, uh, Vote him the way, 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 vote him the where people send in video clips of themselves singing that chorus and we combine it all into one uh, large video. In the bunker, the White House bunker. You're trying to choose the um, victim of the song, right? Who deserves to be ridiculed. Um, and that's, that's, and you're, then you're on the side of the angels, right? Then you're talking, then, then your, uh, your, your heart is, is where it should be. In the country, the cries for justice ring through the streets tonight. But in the I feel like, you know, when, um, Joe Biden wins the presidency, and I will confidently make that correction, there, uh, that, that prediction rather, um, uh, the, the work begins. That's when the work begins. We've been, we've been defining ourselves in opposition now for three and a half years. And maybe you'd say, well, that's a good place for a satirist to be. But, but uh, come January of 2021, that's when progress begins. And that's when there's a need to articulate progress. That's what they all say.